Just had to be prepared Stay calm for God is always there Remember you're inside the church of Christ Should you face the vices of the world Be strong and don't be led astray Be loyal to our God Fight for your faith Don't let the world influence you You must influence the world Show them the way, the truth and the light Show them the way to our God It's true you're different but that's okay Cause you follow God's word always Hold on to your faith and in the end You'll receive his salvation So don't let the world influence you You must influence the world There never really is anything you could predict in life. The world will always spin, and the time will pass. Among the many things and people you'd encounter, holding on to who you really are is something to keep in mind. I believe that who I really am is a faithful member of the Church of Christ. From my childhood until now, I always prioritize the worship service and my obedience to all God's command as being taught by my parents. And as I go to unlock an old chapter from my own life, I'll be lying if I say I wasn't looking forward to actually finding out how much change in the last 10 years. Kids, you want something to eat? Yes, uh, I want chicken. I'm craving for a sushi. Okay, let's go. It sounds like Philippines is a good place. It sure is. I doubt I'll never miss being there. And now we're heading back. I wonder how life would be like there. We have a lot of relatives. I'm sure they'll be excited to meet you. I'm nervous about school though. I wonder if I'm going to be able to make any friends. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a lot of people willing to be friends with you. Did you have a lot of friends in the Philippines? I did. And she was my classmate as well. Really? I thought Alex was your only best friend. <laughs> He is my best friend, but I had one from my childhood before our parents came here. Who is it? Brienne, and I wonder how she is now. Teacher was looking for you, you know. I know. It would have been fun if you could just skip math class with me. You have to be careful of our attendance, man. Our exams aren't near. Well, I'm not in a hurry, unlike you. Rian, did you submit your science homework? Rian? Can I just copy your homework, please? Let's just go home. We have class tomorrow. Okay, then. the mall on Sunday. Sorry, I can't. I need to attend worship service before anything else. So these are Alonso's results for his exam this month. He did very good. Uh, for his maths, he was able to get an A. Yeah, wow. Very good, Alonso. 
Yeah, and then for his English, he also got an A. Very good, Alonso. Oh, okay, did very good. Very good, Alonso. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, Mom, if you have time, could you please read? Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, thank you very much. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. You haven't been submitting your work recently, Brian, and your grades are dropping significantly. And with your exam coming soon, it will affect your overall results. Do you understand the seriousness of this? Brian, are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am. I am listening. Your misbehavior in classes and skipping of attendance has become a problem too. If this continues, we will have to call in your father. Do you understand? You may go. Don't skip classes anymore. Yes, mom. Maybe Michael's right. I really need to be serious now in my studies. I will not skip my class for now on. I need to be mindful of my attendance. I will prove to my teacher that I change. Okay, I have to make a decision now. I will study hard. I will not waste the opportunity that my father to is giving me so I can study to be good and to do good. I should talk to Michael. I wonder if he will help me. Maybe I should ask. It's been a long time since you came over, right? Yeah, it really has. Hi, Mommy. Bless you. Hello, Pa. Bless you. Brian is here to study with me. Is that okay? Of course. Would you like to eat first before you study? Thank you, Pa. Hi. Hello, Hello. Michael, don't forget to pray. Yes, Daddy. Oh. You have a problem about your science homework? Yes, I do. Just go to the living room. I'll be washing the dishes first. Do you need any help? I'm good. I could do it myself. Alright, don't take too long. I will. Wow, he achieved a lot of things. I've always wondered how he did that. He's been this way for as long as I remember. But he always seems so busy outside of school. Always studying and going to church or something like that. How does he have the time to do it all at once? It's bedtime. It's worship service tomorrow. Yes, mommy. See you in school then, Brian. Thank you for helping me today. All right, I'll count on it. Brian, wait. I think you should come with me. 
with you where? Yeah, to the children's worship service tomorrow. Am I allowed in there? Of course, you can follow along and listen. Okay, what time will it start? 10 in the morning, I'll walk with you there. Hmm, okay. <sighs> Wait, really? Yeah, I'd like to know where you keep going every Sunday. You keep refusing to hang out with me on that day. Is that the reason? Yeah, I never been absent to the worship service, not even once. Are you serious? I am. Dear guests, welcome to Philippines. This is Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Manila. She agreed to go to the worship service with you? Uh, she did. I was honestly surprised. Mm, yeah, I would have been too. Look, it's the worship service. Oh, the one that you and Brian went to? Yeah, it is. Let's fix your hair. Thank you, Mom. You still remember what to do inside the church? And you should close your eyes during the prayer. Yes, I will. And also, you listen attentively, okay? Okay. Are you ready to go now? Wait, Mama, I need to do my prayer first. Dear Father, thank you for always guiding my way. Thank you for the life that you gave me. Thank you for ha having a loving parents to me. I pray that you never forsake me. Always watching over my daddy and my mommy, also all of my siblings. I am going to attend the worship service. Please help me to be worthy before you. Please keep me safe as I travel and avoid any danger that may come in my way. I am also praying for my classmate, Brienne. May she will be able to attend as well. Help me to be a good influence to her always in understanding and obeying your words. Please always guide and bless us with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you always protect the church administration. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello. Hi, Hi Ben. You look great. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you really need to wear this? I am not used to this. Yes, of course. The God that we worship is holy, so we need to dress up well. Oh, alright. Do you think she's still attending the worship service? I'm not sure. We got, eventually lost contact and we drifted away. But will you still meet her again? We'll see. Okay. Good evening, Daddy. Hi, Brian. I heard Michael is going overseas. Yeah, he is. Where is he going? I forgot. Your teacher called this morning. She did? Yes, she did. The results of your exam will come out soon. Dad? Yes? I was wondering if you'd come with me tomorrow. There's a Bible study in the house of worship. You mean... The Church of Christ, where you and Michael have been going to every Sunday? Okay, we'll see. Daddy, I'll give you something. What's this? This one.
I can't believe we have exams later today. I'm so nervous about math and science tests. Me too, because that's tests are always tricky. I feel like I study, but I don't think I'm ready. Maybe we should go to the library and study. That's a great idea. I was thinking the same thing. Okay, let's go to the library now. Hi. Okay, let's go. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay, you may sit down. So it's time for our exam to start. I hope you have studied well. And remember to focus and calm down while you're taking the exams. Okay? How are you guys feeling? I'm ready. I'm confident. I'm a bit nervous, but I'll be fine. Being nervous is fine. Man. Just do your best and you'll be fine. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so our first exam for today will be your science exam. That's this one to Brianna to Okay, let me guys begin now. I hope you all find the exams easy. Was it easy or hard? Average. It was, it was okay. It was kind of hard. But it was God who helped us. taught you how to pray? Michael. Oh, Michael. Michael's really a good influence. Yeah. Right? Okay. Oh, you shall rice. Grab some rice. It's your exam. I did it just now. Oh, all right. So how was it? I think I did. I passed. Oh, okay. Pass as in uh, high pass or low pass? Mm -hmm. Based on what I get. Okay. All right. Okay. Gabriel. Yes, Dad. I read the pasugo that you gave me and. 
it was interesting. Really, Dad? Yes, because uh, the beliefs of the Church of Christ are different from the beliefs of our religion. Like what, Dad? Like uh, their belief in uh, Jesus Christ. We believe that uh, Jesus Christ is God, while the Iglesia de Cristo, the Church of Christ, believes that Jesus Christ is man and not God. Yes, Dad. That's what I also heard in the children's worship service. And I also heard that whenever the Church of Christ do worship service, uh, men and women uh, have d different seats. And they also wear proper Sunday clothes. Yes, Dad. When I attended the worship service, I had to wear a dress. And I was not comfortable with it. I never wore it like that kind of dress before. Mm hmm All right. So, uh, could you ask uh, Michael to give me uh, more copies of the Pasubo? So I can do more readings about the Iglesia Christo? Really, Dad? Yeah. Okay, I'll go ask Michael tomorrow at school. All right. I think it's better if you go and listen counters, to the Bible study. Oh, that's a great idea. I think I'll do that. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Brienne. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Taking the first steps to change requires a lot of courage. It takes tons of resilience and endurance to trust that there will be a better tomorrow. I think I've remained complacent for so long, but now I've realized to not take it all for granted, to appreciate the little things in life, to do my best in everything that I do, to be brave, and to remain steadfast as I move forward. I've decided to believe in the Lord's words and His promises, that He'll always be there when I in his teachings where I find the undeniable truth, the unwavering faith that everything can turn out for the better. And even if not everything does, he will never forsake me. He'd listen to my prayers and answer at the most suitable times. It is in his church where I find hope, a light in a dark world. Before anything else. Day by day, every day, I'll face them all. Difficulties and hardships, no, I won't fall. Should the good faith and all his commands. The world is for me to influence. I'll fight on the good fight. The price of sins I spread on and endure with all my mind, heart, mind, and soul. His teachings as I grow. He gave the promise inside his soul. Is Trust in the truth that you found inside the Church of Christ.